Hey guys, I've recently found out how to reconnect an orphan YouTube account with your master Google identity or login. Um, I had a lost YouTube account for years that I just got back recently. It was called The Last Human on Earth, similar to my Last Human's Garage brand. And the first thing you got to do if you have an old lost YouTube account is you have to go into the YouTube settings and you have to connect it with Google somehow. Um, if it already has an email associated with it, you can go right into your YouTube settings and click connect to a Google page. If it does not have that, you have to find a way to log into that YouTube account. You can sign out of all your YouTube and click sign in and you would have to create a new Google email such as Gmail. I don't actually use Gmail but you'd have to be able to get that YouTube account connected with a Google account even if it's not your master identity just to start with. So once you have your orphaned YouTube account connected to Google somehow and you go into your YouTube settings page there and you say make a Google Plus page for that account. Then you can go into that Google page that you just created and you're going to have managers, a managers tab. And you'll go into that managers tab and click add manager. And when it says who do you want to add, you're going to put in your email or your Google ID of your main Google identity or email, the one you use all the time. Um, that master one might have other YouTube accounts under it already. So you would say, I want to invite this person to be a manager of this orphan YouTube page, right? And it will send that master identity, which is probably you, an email saying, hey, do you want to you've been invited to manage this Google page. Do you want to do it? And you click accept. If you send that invite and you can't find it on your master account or if you do not get an email, go into your master account and make sure that you are allowing emails for manager invites. A lot of people will try and stop the spam. They'll uncheck everything. And one of those lines to receive emails on is manager invitations. So if you don't get your email, go back to your orphan account, cancel that invite, and send again once you fixed your settings, and you'll probably get an email immediately offering your master account to become a manager of that page. Of course, you accept. Then you can go back into your orphan YouTube account and bring up that Google page again. Click the Managers tab, and you should then see your orphan manager, which was always there, and also your new manager should be listed on that page. And in my case, the new manager is my main Google account, which has all my other YouTube accounts under it. And you'll see a drop down under that new account where it says manager. You can do a drop down and click owner or make this manager owner of the page. Now, the only issue is you do have to wait two weeks as a manager before you can transfer ownership of that page to the new manager. They have to be a manager for two weeks before it will allow that. So after you see them as a manager, you just got to sit tight for two weeks. Then after that, you go back into that orphaned Google page, go into your manager tab, and you would click transfer page to this new owner. And it will transfer that page into your master Google identity or email. And at that point, that YouTube account is transferred under control of your master Google identity so you don't have to go back and forth in your Google logins to manage two different YouTube accounts. And I already have three YouTube accounts under my master identity, and I always had to log out of Google and log in with a Gmail account I just made up to access this orphan YouTube account. But once this is complete, I can stay in my master Google login and that fourth YouTube account will appear on my list when you click the little switch account there 
when you're on YouTube, you want to switch to different accounts. So that is how you can merge all your YouTube accounts under the master Google login and you don't have to have a bunch of separate Google emails attached to each YouTube account.